The news of the armed robberies came as a surprise to some people walking their dogs early this morning in what's described as a quiet neighborhood. It's a great neighborhood. There's a lot of super friendly people. A little scary um, just because it's a pretty safe neighborhood. The latest two incidents happened late Wednesday night on Waveland between Marshfield and Ashland. The victims, a pizza delivery driver and a 17-year-old boy. The teenage victim was walking when he was hit in the back of the head with a gun. The suspect was last seen wearing a red baseball hat, got away with his cell phone and wallet. You're always making sure you're with someone if you can be, if you are alone, um, just being aware of your surroundings, keeping your phone on you, uh, make sure your hands aren't completely full, um, and just knowing where you're at, who's around you. Um, and kind of what's going on if you can. Earlier this week, a trio of armed men targeted this nearby restaurant. I know it's really scary and, uh, you know, it just kind of makes you rethink, you know, like when can I walk alone and, and what times and do I need to stay on, you know, it's always nicer to walk on the little blocks, but do I need to stay out on the big streets so that you're never alone. Sources say three men with guns forced six employees to the ground and pistol whipped to the managers at Tuco and Blondie. We learned one of the suspects was also wearing a red baseball hat. This is a great neighborhood, so I just hope that people are careful and um, that the police just kind of stay aware. Now, the alderman for this ward, Michelle Smith, told her constituents in an email, police will step up patrols in the area.